show you how to remove the tip beneath the software on this computer is up to date. For those of you that are running Ubuntu 16.04 or newer or any of the Ubuntu derivatives. I'm using Ubuntu Mate and if you see here I go to my system administration and there's the software updater and if I were to run that and I'm not going to since I have the message here it would search see if there's any updates after I install the updates it would usually show you just this message but recently uh, if you're running Ubuntu or any of the other derivatives you'll see this tip below that says you can use live patch to keep your computer more secure between restarts in this video I'm going to show you how to apply or activate or install live patch so that it will patch or update or upgrade your kernel uh, as your system is running so that it doesn't require a reboot uh, allowing you to have more uptime without restarting your system now if you're watching this on YouTube I will provide a link below that will take you to my website that has all the steps uh, that you need to go through in order to uh, activate or install the live patch service the first thing you want to do in step one how to enable the canonical live patch service is to go to this website now once you're at this website uh, you need to sign up with an Ubuntu account and I have an Ubuntu account when I created myself a uh, an app grid. I created my self account so that I can inst uh, log in and install software and keep that up on my computer. But here you can install it up to three machines and after you go three machines you can purchase it for more. But I only have uh, three machines uh, so I don't need any additional uh, services. Now I am an Ubuntu user. I click the little radio button or a little circle for the Ubuntu user. I'm going to get my live patch token. When I do that, I click on this link. Now, I notice I did open this in a new, another tab. As so I created my websites for links that are on here, I have it to open in a new tab so that you don't have to keep hitting the back button for instructions. You can go back here. So if you've already got a, a Ubuntu login, uh, if you've already created one, you can skip step one and go directly to step two, which it takes you to this screen. Uh, so that you can log into your uh, everything on Ubuntu. I've already created myself an account, and that's my account name. Uh, it says I don't have an Ubuntu account. If you choose that, you can create yourself one. For me, I do have one. There's my username or my email, and right here is my password that's not shown for protection. I'm going to go ahead and log in, and it's now going to probably notice that I this is the Sacket machine that I will be applying for. Now here's the manage live kernel patching. This is for my account and this is the Sackett computer that I'm installing it on. So I do want to keep this website open because this is the key that I have for this machine. So this would be a good time to take a snapshot or screencast of your computer screen so that you won't forget that number or copy and paste that number uh, so that you don't forget it. Now I want to open up my terminal and I want to follow these instructions here. It says to enable a live kernel patch or patches on a Ubuntu machine, open the terminal and enter the following. I'm going to copy the first line and then I'm going to paste it into my terminal. I'm going to press the return key or the enter key. And it's going to ask for my password. After I put my password into the terminal, it's going to go through and install the live patch from Conical, uh, Canonical. And when it's completed, as you can see, it's circling over here showing that it's installing. Uh, so it, it's setting up a snap. It's going through and you can see that it's got a little progress bar spinning. Uh, let me know that it's, it's, it's running in the background. It will take just a, a little while. It depends upon the, the speed of your machine and if you have any processes running in the background. Uh, but it is installing it and when it completes now it's finished I got my insertion point or my blinking cursor it says canonical live patch 8.06 from canonical is installed now the next thing I want to do is to copy this next line now this number here is the number assigned to my machine so I want to copy all the way from the beginning and I want to make sure I include the entire number if you leave off a number, it's not going to, to match the system that you've assigned, to, that the key was issued. Bring back up my terminal, paste it into my terminal, and I press the return or the enter key again. 
and it says the successfully enabled the device using machine and it shows me my token that it's created on my computer and you may want to screencast or uh, take a snapshot of your terminal uh, but I think as long as you got your key uh, that you're fine now let me go back to my website uh, I do have it installed on there and I show you all the steps now uh, to confirm that it's installed you want to go and put in this command here canonical live patch status dash or space dash dash ver verbose you want to put that into your command line or into your terminal and I put all that the canonical dash live patch status verbose press the enter key and as you can see below it shows you your information and it lets you know that it did uh, it's uh, I now have live patch to my system so now as I run my computer after I reboot the computer and as it's running uh, in the background if there's a kernel update or patch available it will patch it automatically without prompting me to reboot my computer so let me close out the the software updater and I'm going to rerun it by going to system administration software updater and it'll take a moment or two and once it starts to scan for the software on my computer it should indicate whether or not I have an update available and since I just checked it before I started the video there shouldn't be any software updates unless some occurred while I'm making this video and when it's finished the tip should no longer appear uh, below the software on this computer is up to date all right it says checking for updates it shows that it's finished it's going to create myself the little uh, message that it normally does and now it says the software on this computer is up to date notice the tip is now gone so that indicates that instead of showing you a tip for live patch it's not giving me that tip anymore because I don't need it I've applied the live patch if you've not applied the live patch you'll probably see that tip you don't have to install it you know some people get paranoid that they don't like someone updating or messing with their machine in the background without their permission so if you don't want to install the, uh, the live patch you know just you'll just continue seeing the tip below and it will not hurt anything but if you like to for security updates to your kernel to run in the background making your system uh, more secure or in my opinion it makes it more secure then you want to activate it by using the steps that I showed you in the video and that I will have on my website so hopefully this will help you understand what the tip is and how to get rid of the tip and how to install the live patch have a great day